Welcome back to the show. My name is Evan, along with Michael J. Babcock. What's up? Renee Montgomery. Hello there. Oh my gosh, another record sale of a Babe Ruth baseball card. Oh. This one you're looking at right here, a 1933 Gaudi number 149 card just sold for $761,000 at auction on Sunday night. But here's the kicker. It's more than double the price for the highest selling version of this card. So just a couple of months ago, another version of this card, right? Somebody else had a similar card, a, another copy of it, yep. and they sold it at auction for $325,000. That was just like six months ago. And now uh, basically the same card from the same collection sold for more than double that, $760,000. Proof wow. that the Babe Ruth market is still on fire. Baseball cards are still on fire. You know, at the moment, it seems like the best investment you could make, even better than some stocks and bonds and stuff like that. But Babcock, tell us about this card. This came from a, a very interesting collection here. Yeah, so there's this guy, Evan, and his name, he, he unfortunately passed away at the age of 93 years old, but his name was Uncle Jimmy. And starting in like, like 60, 70 years ago, he, he started uh, amassing this, this uh, amazing collection of sports memorabilia. And a lot of that, was baseball cards. And he would actually, Uncle Jimmy would actually send these cards out to these legendary players and ask for autographs and they would autograph them and, si and send them back to him. <laughs> That's and so dope. He, he was just storing them in his house, guys. And then when Uncle Jimmy passed away, his family found this, this amazing collection. And since they had been auctioning off some of these yeah. pieces, and like you said, Evan, just smashing records. What's crazy about this is nobody else in the industry knew about his collection. He nope. kept it secret, but he preserved the cards so well that experts say it looks like they were printed yesterday. So a lot of these cards, especially from the 20s and 30s, when you see a card from the 20s and 30s, they usually look you know, a little worn out. You know, the color is faded a little bit, but the colors and the condition of the Uncle Jimmy cards are almost perfect. And that's why they're selling for so much money. So this guy, he was 97, by the way, Babcock, 97. I'm sorry, Uncle Jimmy. 97, <laughs> but he left his family with the most unbelievable gift, a multi, wow. multi-million dollar baseball card collection that they're now selling off and their family, they're going to live well, they're for, rich for now. I mean, they are rich. Yeah. Generational <laughs> wealth here. Crazy. Impressive.